Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little, well, <clears throat> it's actually kind of a big box and it's kind of heavy so I, I think there's quite a bit of stuff in it. Uh, unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, no idea what's in here. It was sent by Leaf. Thank you very much for sending this in for me to take a look at. Can't wait to share it with everybody. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below. Check out my Patreon. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, let's see what's in here. Mm, we have some uh, quite, a, quite a bit of interesting stuff coming into the channel this month. So I am... Uh, oh. <laughs> Finally! Finally, 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 a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, what the heck? All right, hang on, hang on. Wait, is there more? There's more. Okay, buckle up, folks. This is gonna be uh, quite the unboxing. All right, <clears throat> big note. Greetings from the Houston, Texas area. I reached out to you late October about providing the, yes, definitely, and here it is. Along with seven other knives I found my interest to, a list is below. Please feel free to review what you want, and I will indicate on the list if it is for review only or if it is okay to use, etc. I appreciate that. I really like when people do that. So, thank you very much, Lee. Um, yeah, and then there's some general information. He says, I have very much enjoyed watching your videos, and I've used them to make some purchase choices, etc. Uh, so, thank you for what you do. Looking forward to seeing the first impressions video. Awesome. Thank you. So, I really want to dig into this. I will link all of this stuff right down in the description. I know that this guy is available. I know you guys saw this. A lot of you just fast forwarded through the video to get to this part. I have been dying to get my hands on this. Dying to get my hands on this. This is the SOG Pentagon OTF. This will be linked right down in the description. As per usual, uh, I always tell people this, it really does help the channel when you use my links, but that's entirely up to you. If you wanna check this knife out, there's a link down there. Okay. All right. Feels pretty good. Moment of truth. Blade play. Is there blade play? Oh my gosh, it's... It is super, super minimal. Okay, so, wow. Not expecting that. Um, that is, it's very, very minimal blade play. You know, for the... The action is nice. Yeah. Yeah, the action's pretty good. Are we rubbing? I don't think so. No, there's plenty of space on either side. See right there. Plenty of space on either side for the edges to clear. The, the blade feels like it's been used, but I was curious if the uh, edge was riding on the, the frame here, and no, it isn't. Um, so I expected this thing to um, have one of two things, either lacking in firepower or um, not lacking in firepower, but not truthfully, you know, solid. A lot of people were claiming that the um, SOG Pentagon was absolutely solid. I would say this is about 99%, guys. I can move it. And I think a lot of the people who are telling us, you know, <laughs> my SOG Pentagon is totally solid. I think it's probably just like, ah, well, I don't have to tell them about that little bit. Uh, on this channel, I will tell you guys exactly what I'm feeling. There is a just slight amount of blade play, but truthfully, m all of my um, Microtex have less. Now, I'm not saying I necessarily like this more than my Microtex or that um, more or less blade play is any specific indication of overall quality of the knife because as X-Ring has proven, it doesn't really matter that a lot of those Microtex have blade play. They can still be, the blade can still be pounded into a log and taken back out and, you know, light prying and stuff like that. That They've passed all those durability tests. But to those of you who are very like, I just really, you know, value that type of just, I don't know. It, 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 those of you who put a lot of value into the fact that something like this can have zero blade play, because let me tell you guys, this is an American, as far as I can understand, this is a... U.S. made, I believe, I think these are U.S. made, uh, OTF, it's a U.S. made OTF for about 350 bucks. 
I do like the look of it. I love the face switch. That's a huge thing for me. Having a face switch is very comfortable to deploy and retract, right? What am I feeling? Yeah, it's totally fine. Yeah, just a t just a the hint. Listen. I'm trying to move it around. I'm trying to. I'm not getting anything. I love the uh, aesthetic profile of this. Um, the blade is a bit skinny for the handle, but that's probably because of how they want it. Do you see how it comes in right here? They have to make room for the blade to come in and then all the chassis and the internals. I also like how the blade is essentially centered on the materials with this face uh, layer of G10 being the thickest. Like the fuller down the center. Wow, they did a great job with the tip. Look at that. That's usually where... OTF manufacturers screw up. No, that's pretty good. Wow. All right. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. The pocket clip's all right. I don't know why it couldn't be lower, but hey. Okay, first impression's pretty good. This is a first impressions video. If you are new to my channel and you don't know how this works, I do not unbox things and then review them. I've seen not just knife channels, but channels in general who just unbox things and review them. That's stupid. <laughs> if that's happening, one of two things are happening. Number one, the person who's doing it has really doesn't have any idea what they're talking about. Number two, they have already handled it and then they're just unboxing it for your entertainment and then immediately reviewing it, which is weird and kind of confusing and misleading, right? So, uh, no, this is, I'm going in blind, experiencing these things for the first time. I know you guys like to do that with me. It's kind of as if you're unboxing it with me, right? So I just give my first impressions and then each individual knife or a lot of them, not all of these I'm promising a review, they, they will get uh, reviews down the road, um, full comp comprehensive reviews. What on earth is this? Manix 2XL, looks like it's probably been customized. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, I'd say definitely that thing has been customized. Very nice, very cool. Manix 2XL, always uh Always a knife that um, I, I um, enjoy. I don't think I have a review on the Manix 2 XL. Maybe I'll have to use this one to, uh, you know, do a video on. But really cool. Love that uh, deep acid wash. Almost looks like a marble countertop. Nice brass. Uh, looks like brass. Might be bronze anodized titanium. I think it's brass. Um, that's the uh, the uh, cage lock that you can get from Flytanium. If you didn't know that, I'll make sure you guys have links for Flytanium down below. And then some nice bronzed or brass hardware with a uh, nice lanyard grill that matches. Very cool. Looks like it applied the same finish to the pocket clip and liners as well. Very nice. Let's see what this other Spyderco is. Oh, UK Penknife Salt. Yeah. So this is probably the best version of the UK PK. Why? Because it's in um, LC200N, which is uh, just this. I have reviewed this knife. I have not reviewed the one in LC200N. I'll probably do a video on that. But that's just excellent. It it has the uh, twin detents. It doesn't actually lock. But there's a lot. There's a lot of good with this knife. Whether you live in an area that it restricts locking knives or not, right? Obviously, UK. This is great, but even for people who don't live in the UK, as long as the blade length is legal, this is great. And it's ultra lightweight. And now in uh, LC200N, that's just wonderful. We have a few um, cold steels here. I'm really curious to find out what's in this brown package here. Okay. What is this? Cold steel? Holdout. Okay, I've never experienced that. CTS XHP, I'm guessing this is an older boy because they generally, you know, I think they've transitioned to S35VN on a lot of their stuff. Looks like the triad lock. All right, interesting. Um, there might be a review on that. It depends on whether or not it's available. I'll try to link it down below if it is. Uh, then we have another knife. No, two, I'm sorry, there are two more knives in this um, package. I should have, he did tell me that there were seven or so. So this is, is this the leak or the, uh, I can't remember what this is. Is it the, is it the leak? Assisted carbon fiber and CPM 154. Uh, this is a U.S. knife. I, I can't remember what this is. I'll try to link it down below. I don't think I have a review on that one either. We have one more skinny boy. I have reviewed this guy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the CRKT CEO, I believe is what that is. 
Um, hope I'm not, is this the newer one? I don't know. I'll make sure that that's linked down there as well. You can check out my review on this. I, this is that the case or is this a newer variant? I'm not really sure. We'll find out. First impressions, right? Uh, then we have the Finn Wolf, which looks like a smaller cold steel knife. Yeah, okay. All right. What's the steel? Os 8A. Yeah, okay. Um, see how it's, it's just a, like a Scandi grind, kind of like what you see on a, um, oh, uh, the Mora, right? Um, so yeah, sort of almost, it makes me think of like a bushcraft folder. Probably super inexpensive. I'm not the biggest fan of Aus 8. I know, but it's annealed. I'm not the biggest fan of Aus 8. So, okay, that's neat. And finally, what do we have here? Is this the smaller Frenzy or Frenzy 3? And honestly, I did not know there was a Frenzy 3. Or is it still gigantic? <laughs> I feel like I've seen this knife many times. S35VN, yeah, that thing is a pocket sword. In fact, I gave one of these away. But very cool. Anyway, so I'll tell you guys right now. The SOG Pentagon OTF is 100% getting a review. Probably still want to do a video on the UK PK and LC200N. I don't think I've done a Manix 2 XL video, so I'll probably need to do that. And then I'm curious about this guy and this guy. Um, just in case that's a newer version of the CEO. The rest of them, I'm not really sure, but they are interesting in any case. And I still want to say thank you uh, to Leith, if I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, for sending all this stuff in. <clears throat> like I said, everything that is available uh, will be linked right down below. Let me emphasize this, guys. This is pretty impressive. I really didn't, I really did not know what to expect from this. And I don't think I was expecting very much. I'm trying to get it to fail, if you're wondering why I keep doing this. I'm legitimately trying to get it to fail. In the open position, initially I thought there was a little bit of play, but what's happening here is I'm pulling it back. There's no play. It doesn't want to move. In fact, the button has no play whatsoever. The I'm just pulling it back against the spring. Same in the closed position. It just wants to you're just pushing against the spring here, but that button is very solid. It doesn't even rattle. Oh, there we go. A little bit. Side to side. A little bit. little bit side to side, like from this way, in the open position. But truthfully, the most solid OTF that I have handled outside of the deadlock, the only OTF that I have ever handled that truly has no blade play is still the deadlock. But that Pentagon is about 99%. It's very close. Very cool. Okay, guys, that's going to be pretty much it today. Thanks again to Leith for sending all this stuff in. Links down in the description. It does help, guys, when you use my links to check this stuff out. It really does help. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex. They'll go right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.